Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are in a 2017 Ford Transit. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you some DPF live data. Uh, this is the iCarSoft CR Max kit, which will allow us to show us, uh, sorry, allow us to see the DPF data. Um, it can also do DPF regenerations. We're not gonna do that in this video though. We're just gonna go through and check the DPF data, uh, which is which is pretty important if you, if you are wanting to keep an eye on your DPF. Um, I'll start by saying that this kit is available by clicking the link below. There's video um, this is a genuine and official product there are fakes there are clones on the market they can damage your vehicle it's not worth going down that route so if you want to make sure you're getting a genuine and official product make sure you use the link in the description it'll take you to this website they have genuine and official products okay so it's a diagnostic world by the way so this is the CR Max we've got the tool plugged into the diagnostic port which is down here the engine is running we're going to click on to diagnostics and we're going to find Ford now the good thing about this tool is that it will um, it has like an automatic VIN function on newer vehicles uh, so this is a 2017 vehicle so it does work on that vehicle uh, and it's got an auto identify feature so we just click that and it automatically finds the vehicle um, there is an, you will have saw another option there to select the vehicle manually um, you've got to kind of know things like the, the, the type of engine, uh, the capacity, and a few other bits and bobs to get it exactly right. Uh, but, but it can be done, okay? So we're gonna click OK. And it's now got us there's a few different options that it'll uh, allow us to do. We're going to click into control unit, and we're going to click into powertrain control mode. Just as a, as a sort of an example here, it just, just shows you the type of different systems that it can uh, diagnose and reset. So the main systems being the engine, transmission, ABS, and uh, airbags, oh, it's RCM, restraint control module. So we're gonna click onto powertrain control module, and we're gonna go to view data. Now, this might take a few seconds to load because there are lots and lots of bits of live data that this engine and transmission system can actually uh, produce. So, We'll come to that in a second. Right, so you see this little blue marker here. If I was to scroll down, it's going to show you how many of them there is. There's so, so many. Um, so what I'm going to do is to get the diesel live data, we're going to click on to uh, search and then we just type in diesel and then it's going to give us lots of different options. I'm just, I'm not sure whether it'll give us um, uh, this might not work actually because it's only going to allow us to go through and look at say one at a time um, yeah okay so we'll scrap that what we'll do is we'll go to view data and we'll just have to scroll down to where we can find the, uh, the DPF data so scrolling through here um, I think this has got AGR data as well all of the live data that comes from the engine system really uh, but here we've got diesel particulate filler inlet pressure so starting from here we've got a couple there um, we've got filter delta pressure inlet pressure and then if we scroll down we'll start to see some more so we've got O2 sensors uh, exhaust fluid concentration Still scrolling down looking for more DPF here we are so we've got diesel particulate filter cleaning times regeneration statuses distance average distance between regenerations certain timing levels suit um, DPF system percentage of the maximum suit loading filters massive suit trapped in the exhaust diesel particular filter closed loop calculation and there we go so that seems to cover the uh, the DPF side of things um, but as I say it does cover like way more bits of live data from the engine system as well as you can see we could, this video would be quite a long video if I started to scroll through everything so don't worry about that but that's just an example of what you can do with this tool so look at all the live data for the DPF um, if you wanted to you could then go in and say uh, well, I want to have a look at the fault codes for this vehicle you read fault codes this vehicle does have a couple of faults um, so that will need looking at 
um, all seem to be surrounding the oil status. We are getting the oil service due on this, uh, so that's probably contributing to that. Um, and then obviously you've got other things like uh, services, so you can carry out service functions, so you can carry out the oil service resets. You do DPF regenerations, um, EGR, resets, injector coding, steering angle sensors, new batteries, oil resets, tire pressures, things like that. Um, but that's the iCar Soft CR Max, just a little example there of the DPF data that you can get when using it on a Ford Transit. I'll pop the link to this kit in the description below this video. Um, this is a genuine and official product, there are fakes, there are clones out there. Unfortunately they can damage your vehicle, we've seen them damage vehicles so it's not worth going down that route. Uh, but if you wanted to get the genuine and official, as I say, link in the description. Thanks for watching guys and I hope this helps.